Is it too late to stop the climate crisis? These people don't think so. Yeah. So everyone knows what we're filming? Climate change is one of the biggest problems of this century. Well, I hope for brighter days for our planet. We need to work together. These are the 2023 Earthshot Prize finalists, all giving Earth their best shot to fix our climate. My aha moment came about when learning about the IPCC report of 2017. Being a father and being someone who's passionate about the environment, I began to look at how I'd make a greater contribution to that space. Tell me your name, where you're from and what you do. My name is Sam Elson and I'm the CEO and co-founder of a Tasmanian company called Sea Forest. Ruminant livestock, like cattle and sheep, produce methane as a byproduct of their digestive process. Methane emissions are so bad because they hold more heat than carbon dioxide in our atmosphere, about 84 times that of carbon dioxide. We must reduce emissions by 50% by 2030. We have to do it. It's up to us as stewards of the planet to ensure that carbon that plants capture is safely stored in the soil. My name is Adit Murthy, and I'm the founder and CEO of Bumitra. With climate change in general, the weather is becoming less and less predictable. But as all of us know, weather is one of the most crucial things for a farmer, and it's very essential for farmers to build resilience. It was about six or so years ago, I was traveling through a small village in South India when I saw a funeral procession. A farmer had committed suicide. Because that year, the monsoon rains had failed, and along with it, the crop yields. And with climate change, these kinds of disasters are just becoming more and more frequent. And that got me thinking, why do farmers have to struggle like this in the face of climate change? Water comes out of the tap, it goes down the drain, and once it's out of sight, it's out of mind. Most people don't think about wastewater. My name is Oriana Brechker, and I'm the CEO and founder at AquaCycle. Our mission is sanitation for all. Water and sanitation have always been really paramount to me in my life, mostly just from my personal experiences growing up in the rural southwestern United States. And we didn't always have access to water. We did not have an indoor toilet. So I was potty trained on an outhouse. Um, so that stuck with me. We are facing an emergency with our current wastewater treatment. As it stands, vast quantities of our wastewater goes back into the environment with minimal or even no treatment at all. This has devastating impacts on human and environmental health. The way that we're doing it now with our centralized systems actually generates more greenhouse gas emissions than the entire shipping industry. There's no way we can do it with our existing technologies and still maintain our climate goals. The future is bleak if we do nothing. Almost everything we do has an impact on our planet. From the way we grow our food, the way we manage the land, even the way we treat our water. The effects our actions have on the climate often take a backseat. But we do still have time to limit our emissions, slow climate change, and build ourselves a brighter future. Seaforest mission is to abate climate change using science to significantly reduce methane emissions from livestock production and be the enabling force in sustainable agriculture. There is a scientifically proven solution that exists that can reduce emissions today. Asparagosis is a, a red species of seaweed that's native to Australia and New Zealand. We've been able to develop feed supplements based on the seaweed that reduces methane emissions in livestock when consumed in tiny dietary inclusions. Just 0.2% is consumed by an animal and that can reduce their methane emissions by up to 98%. I think that seaweed can change the world. But to grow the seaweed has been a scientific challenge. 
we've had to build a handbook on how to do this. There was no precedent, there was no one else doing this in the world. Sam and his team have also developed methods for land-based cultivation, meaning this solution could now be used all over the world. The most wonderful thing about what we're doing is that the solution that we're developing requires very little behavioural change from farmers. At the end of the day, it comes down to the cost. No one wants to pay for climate change, and that's also a big challenge. Everything has to make financial sense first. A solution when we get to a certain economies of scale can deliver both financial benefits to farmers, but also significant environmental outcomes for the planet. But we do need collaboration, and actually we won't deliver the outcome if we don't have that collaboration. Bhumitra means friend of the earth in Sanskrit. We work with farmers and ranchers all around the world and help them to increase their soil carbon levels through improved agricultural practices. The conventional way of doing things from the soil carbon world, the individual soil test by a lab can cost north of 100 to 200 US dollars per test. And it turns out that it's not economically feasible uh, to generate carbon credits with that kind of a system. Bumitra have found a way to use satellites and AI to photograph and analyse different wavelengths of light bouncing off the Earth, allowing them to quickly and cheaply determine levels of carbon within the soil. We are not asking the farmers to take their lands out of crop production. We are asking them to slightly tweak their practices. We have what we call a digital model, where there is the physical relationship and advisory that comes from our partners on the ground, but it's also complemented along with digital solutions and digital software that we are providing, apps, dashboards and more. We use over 100 plus satellites. We use all this data in a data fusion to measure soil carbon levels. We are providing moisture, nutrients and other insights to farmers, which enable them to uh, grow more with less and adopt the necessary practices that lead to soil health to increase and soil carbon to go up. AquaCycle provides distributed sanitation and wastewater treatment services and technologies for industrial, agricultural and sanitation purposes worldwide. We founded AquaCycle specifically to address the sanitation issues. What we do is we use naturally existing bacteria that we harvest locally. And we mix that together with the wastewater that we want to treat. We put it all together in the box. What we do is we're selecting for these natural microbes that have a capacity to generate electricity at the same time that they're consuming waste and water. So the more electricity that we're generating, the faster the treatment rate is. We build out shipping containers for community settings and industrial settings. Inside there's 640 of our reactors and we stack them together like Legos inside the shipping container. The other aspect of that is we don't consume much power. To run one of our containers, a 40-foot container, it only takes 60, 60 kilowatt hours a day. To treat the same type of concentrated wastewater in a centralized plant would require 2,500 kilowatt hours a day. By drastically reducing the power consumption compared to traditional treatments, AquaCycle technology has the potential to dramatically reduce the global emissions of the entire wastewater industry. We've had systems running in the field for nearly seven years now. So for one of our large clients, we've been consistently saving them 30% on their sewer bill, plus mitigating over 100 tons of greenhouse gas emissions every single month. The more industrial rollout that we do, the more we scale our manufacturing, the more we reduce our cost of goods, which now gets us accessibility into low-income countries. These solutions have the potential to solve perhaps the biggest problem facing humanity and planet Earth, and give us the chance to undo the damage caused by decades of burning fossil fuels and releasing greenhouse gases into the air. It's not too late, but we can't hold off any longer if we are to work towards a solution to fix our climate. I think the exciting work that Sea Forest is doing in developing cultivation methodologies for native seaweeds is super exciting. 
but I'm also aware that we're just scratching the surface. The impact that AquaCycle can have on the environment is to be able to treat 100% of our globally generated wastewater without emitting greenhouse gases. Bumitra has sequestered of 14 to 15 million tons of CO2 into the soil. I would be the first to tell everyone it's the very beginning of our journey. We should all give Earth our best shot because we're running out of time. I give Earth my best shot because I do believe that the solutions are out there. I'm giving Earth my best shot because it matters. It's time to give Earth our best shot.